Let's segue away from like the coming out and that sort of thing. Let's talk about parenting because there will be also the demographic of the per people listening to this might be the people in your position who've come out and they've got kids or that they're in the closet, they're still married with kids. Or it might be gay guys out there who want kids of their own one day. They yeah. want to adopt, they want a surrogate or something like that. Do you think this affects your parenting in any way or has done over the years? How, are you raising your kids in a different way than you were when you were with your ex-wife or from listening to people? Or maybe you raise them in a different way to your ex-wife or like... Is there something different about being a gay dad? Well, I think, yeah, I think there is, especially if you're someone who ha who adopts or surrogates or mm -hmm. however you do it, because that is a big process. Mm -hmm. Like anyone with a penis and a vagina, generally, I realize there are exceptions to this statement, can have a kid. Mm -hmm. And some people who do have kids should not have kids. Um, and they don't look after them and they don't care. And they're, you know, they, we, we've all seen that in people. Mm -hmm. There's, n there's not a gay couple, specifically if they go through the process, who then have kids who haven't given it serious thought, yeah. who really want to do that, who really want to do a good job. Um, they don't just, oh, I'm pregnant, oh, we should keep it, oh, that's that. Yeah. They, they go through a process, and, and with that, you know, they know what they're getting into, and... So I, I think in that sense, that's a really that's a much better position to be coming from to have a kid to yeah. have had to jump through some hoops to get there rather than you yeah. know, it can just happen. Uh, but as with regards to like parenting in and of itself, no, I, I I really don't because over the only thing I would what I would say is my kids have a very different life with me than they do with their mum. In that their um, Sarah, their family is very family orientated. They spend a lot of time, which is amazing. Grandparents, and, yeah, grandparents yeah. and stuff. And that's not the same on on my on my side. But we have a, you know, we have our relationship. We have my nan cl closer family. They don't mm -hmm. have that, so they have a different upbringing. And you know, I don't suppose Sarah's going to take them to Pride. Maybe I don't know. Maybe would I don't know. But they've we you know I've taken them to Leeds Pride and yeah. Uh, I, I, and so the, it's it's just it's another layer of society or s civilization or people that my kids are very aware of. Yeah. Because they go, Dad's gay. Gay people exist. Yeah. It's not just like a or you know a footnote. Gay people yeah. exist. It's a very not a big part of their world, but it's something that they're aware of. Yeah. And I and I remember once being at a, a seminar by Kick It Out, which is a a company that works in football to kick out racism, homophobia, and mm. like bad, not necessarily bad language, but um, discriminatory language. Mm. And I, someone someone said something about it was a I can't remember it was a football I can't remember his name. It was a black guy, and he said, "If you're white, you've never listened out for racial yeah. stuff because you've never needed to tune into it. Yeah. And if you're straight, you've never needed to listen out for homophobic stuff because mm. it doesn't. You're not offended. It's almost it. like an evolutionary thing where you're yeah, you're, you're hyper tuned aware. into it. Aren't yeah. You? So I think my kids are tuned into it, like you said there with yeah. Taylor. Mm. But other than that." You know, I just think it gives them a broader spectrum of life that yeah. they, they might be open to. You know, Taylor's watched uh, me and Taylor uh, not for ages, but you know, watched seasons of RuPaul, mm. where uh, where you know we've sat and that's been a thing. I don't think there's, in, I don't know if that's a thing in straight people's. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but that's something that me and Taylor spent time doing and bonded up. So yeah. it just uh, it's just a knowledge of something else that exists. I don't, but mm. it certainly doesn't impact how I. They're disciplined, not yeah. disciplined. I don't, you know, it's not like I'm knocking shit out of my kids or not. But <laughs> no, you know I think they're I mean? getting a more diverse upbringing than they maybe would have done. More, yeah, rounded, like like yeah. you've been saying, living in a rural northern town, like it's that was a very different upbringing to what your kids have now with yeah, you, yeah, absolutely, and probably with with Sarah as well because she, you know, she's not yeah. homophobic. She's she. Well, you yeah, know. you know, Sarah, Sarah said to both of our kids, you know, if if you're not straight or there's any you know yeah you're okay we accept you we love you yeah that, and that came from her it didn't come from me yeah. i was like take it as red from me hopefully yeah. but i've never said that yeah. to sarah so yeah, that's really nice